Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. That's right. <laughs> um, and this is the YouTube channel with the dragon. That's right. That's El Guapo. The only YouTube channel that I know of with an actual dragon. El Guapo. And this is a video, well, this is a video on how to make Gimli's axe from the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit. Right? Out of foam, foam board. One piece of foam board is all you need to do this project. It really comes out nice. Maybe two, depending on how wasteful you are with it. Fun little project. Easy to do. I give you every, just about everything you need, including the template. Right? So you can just print that up, cut it out, and use it to cut your foam board or your cardboard. And I even give you the gold ornaments. See that? That go on there. Makes it real easy for you to make. Because it looks good. Easy and fun project. Just another one of my weapons projects, and um, one of some of the Lord of the Rings projects that I have, or Hobbit projects that I have. Um, so we'll launch that in a second. I just want to say one thing uh, real quick, that um, <clears throat> I'm also doing some more Lord of the Rings or Hobbits projects, Hobbit projects, including a foam board sting that I'm working on, right? Bilbo or Frodo's sword. And this is par partially done. I will, of course, do the same thing for that. I will give you the template and everything that I can give you to, so you can make it. But, and this, I know a lot of you are going to like this. I have also started smithing out a steel one. See that? Isn't that beautiful? This is 01 steel, and that is going to be Bilbo's sword sting from The Hobbit. Um, fun project. I'm doing some new blacksmithing and metalworking stuff with this. It's going to come out, I think it's going to come out pretty good. So you might want to stay tuned, hit that subscribe button if you want to you know, follow along so you can get this project when it comes out pretty soon, um, or the other one. Uh, thanks for watching my video, thanks for watching my channel. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button, leave me a comment, uh, leave me project suggestions, I always read the comments. Um, let's launch into the introduction, and then let's do how to make Gimli's axe. From the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit. Thanks. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chase, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing you do is just cut yourself out four strips out of the foam board, one inch wide strips. This will be the major part of the handle. And the foam board here is 26 inches long, so these pieces will be 26 inches long. It's really very flexible, flexible. Um, you know, make it the length of your foam board. And then glue them all together, all four strips. They show a pretty strong handle. I, I, normally for the weapon I use um, dowel or broomstick or something like that, but Gimli's axe is actually square. It's like a hockey stick almost. So that's why we're cutting off, um, you know, square pieces. Now, wrap it up in tape, duct tape. You don't have to, it's optional. Duct tape is kind of nice. And start six inches from one end. Because that six inches later, you're going to paint that brown like wood. All the rest of it, all the way down. Wrap it from six inches from one end all the way to the other end on the right there with that tape. Now cut yourself four strips of foam board that are nine inches long like that and glue those together just like that and this is going to be your um, cut those four pieces and then glue those four pieces right there together those are going to be the axe head section now the template has a bunch of stuff on it and it, it explains to you how to put it together we'll go over some of it but it's pretty easy um, cut out your axe head and cut out the triangular pieces inside and then now uh, this is your template to make your axe head Trace that onto foam board four times. You want four of them. And cardboard you can use two here. Now, now once you have four, all four of those done, cut this piece off and use that as a second template just to draw your blade edge. So you put it back on all four pieces and draw this line here like this so you know where the blade edge starts you know half of it is like rough steel and half of it is polished steel the blade edge is polished steel 
So go ahead and cut those out. And if you want nice, crisp, square, straight lines, use a ruler like that on your X-Acto knife to cut all the most of the edges. You can do every edge except for the curve of the blade. And cut those four pieces out. Glue two of them together in a stack, and then glue the other two in another stack. So you get two stacks of two. One side of the axe and the other side of the axe, just like that. It looks good. And it's pretty strong, too. White glue is fine for this. Hot glue gun, white glue. Whatever you got. Now we're going to make that wonderful forged steel look on the left side of the axe, all the side near the handle. So only cut through the top layer of paper and then peel it off the foam board. If you're doing, using cardboard, you shouldn't do this method because it'll be corrugated. It might look good. I've done it before. But if you have foam board, peel that paper off like that. And it exposes the foam. Do this on this side and then do it over, flip it over and do the other side too. Now you can rough up that um, to give it that forged look. You can rough it up with sandpaper if that's all you have. But if you have a wire brush or some kind of wire brush, you can use that too. The wire brush works pretty good for this. You kind of pick at it. See how it's getting roughed up? We like that. So if you want a sharp edge on your axe, go ahead and cut it at an angle with an X-Acto knife like this on both sides to bring it kind of to an edge. That's It's half done. That's optional. So now let's uh, put the axe head together. There are four pieces for each side of the axe. Put a square piece down, put that slotted piece down like that. Glue it down. Put the second slotted piece on like that. And these are all in the template. Well, I said square piece, the first piece square, but it's actually rectangular. And then put the final rectangular piece down and glue that down. Forms a little channel in there. You'll see what I mean. You'll see how the, then the axe head will fit right in that like that. Centered. See? Nice. And you're going to do this process twice for each axe head. So put a lot of glue in there. And put it right on the axe head. Do the same thing on the other side. And now then you glue them to your 9-inch piece, just like this. I think that's about an inch from the top. Starting to look like Gimli's axe. You know, I was looking over my videos, and I don't have that many Lord of the Rings projects. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I've got, like, some paper dioramas. Uh, a few things here and there, but not as many as I thought I would have. And I do have that um, steel sting sword coming up. That's a fun project. So now let's um, finish the assembly. Take the long piece you had made assembly of four and glue it to that nine inch piece. And glue alone isn't enough, but it works to our advantage. Because once that glue dries, once that hot glue dries, go ahead and tape right over it. It forms like a band. And see now that, see the duct tape there on the left that we put on the handle? Remember how I said it was um, X amount of inches from the top? I think it was six or nine inches from the top. All the section from the tape down to that duct tape, you'll, you'll paint brown shortly. I give you these patterns. They're in the template. You can cut them out. And glue them right down to the axe. I like this one will go there. There's four of those. So 
but go ahead and put those on. And if you wanted to you want brighter colors, you got like a gold paint pen, which is what I use to make a template. I mean, you could go ahead and not use mine and draw your own right on the axe. One in the center, and another big blocky one on the other axe blade, and then you flip it over and you do the other side too. I give you all of those pieces too. Looks good though. I like it. Got a golden look to it. Now the top of the axe. Just there are four little pieces that you just glue one right on top of the other. And then you attach it to the top of the axe. Some axes have a point there which makes it a weapon. And that's actually a weapon too oftentimes, but more of a blunt weapon. That you would strike, you actually can strike with that common axe technique. Paint it up. <clears throat> the blades are silver and once you paint it you can see how different those two techniques are. That section that you peeled away looks very rough towards steel that I'm painting right now and the blade section looks smoother. Had a lot of fun with this project. Didn't take that long. Just a few hours of work. Template gives you all the patterns and shapes that you need. Um, thanks for watching this far into the video. If you make this axe, make sure you send me a picture. I'll put it on my website. Make any of my projects, send me a picture. I'll put it on my website. I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, give me project ideas, particularly with the Hobbit coming out. I'd like to do some more Hobbit stuff maybe. A little gold detail on your masking tape there. That's where the two pieces were um, glued together. Touch it up with some paint here and there, and paint brown on the handle like this. That handle section between the gold and the duct tape. <clears throat> and you are done. You have Gimli's axe. <laughs> nice axe. Let's take a look at the finished product. There we go. Good stout weapon. Thanks for watching. Uh, let's take a look at some other projects you might like. Remember, lots more stuff on our website at stormycastle.com. There you go. A couple of Hobbit projects, including a terrarium and a diorama, the tomahawk from Assassin's Creed, and just a typical old double-ended battle axe. Thank you.